Welcome back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. I'm Kurt. And we're reviewing Oban Bay Reserve Game of Thrones Edition. Uh, is that the front or is that the back? I think I might have blew it. It's hard to tell. No, that's the back. That's the front. You're good. It's hard to tell because the whole thing is just covered in text. Um, comes in at 43%. 86 proof. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. Although the bottle is painted black. So you have no idea what you have in here. That is my biggest complaint on this bottle of I'm, whiskey. I'm, I'm that way with, like, there's other bottles. Oh, actually, you can kind of, you can barely tell on you the label. You are Look. delusional. No, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it on the labels. Oh. When you hold it over a light. Wow, that's insane. That's it, though. Like, that. that's so specific. <laughs> like, you'd have to have a flashlight to know how much whiskey you have in here. Um, yeah, 43%. Uh, no age statement, and because it's under 46, we can probably assume it is chill filtered, uh, which isn't a huge deal. It smells good. It, it smells really like open. unique. So we've all had what was it? The 14? The 14. The Oban 14. The standard from Oban. Yeah, I've had it. You've had it. Like five of our friends have had it. We've um, pretty much Costco all. was the great deal for a long time. If it's not Costco, it's not a great deal. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an expensive whiskey actually. Um, Interesting couple of fun facts about Oban. So Oban means little bay in Gaelic. Uh, Oban is actually smack dab in the middle of the city for which it's named, and Oban. And uh, it's like a busy port town. And so what's interesting is unlike a lot of other distilleries where they're in more remote locations and they can expand, they can add more stills, they can add more warehouses. Oban has only been able to make the same amount of whiskey the whole time that they've been in existence. So since 1797, they have only, they've never been able to expand because a town grew up around the distillery and they're just trapped, basically. Another fun fact, six people make all the Oban whiskey in the world. And they got a seventh guy on hand just in case one of them gets sick. Just, just one in case one dies. That's all who works at the entire distillery. That's insane. Isn't that crazy? You see it at, co every, you know, you see Oban around. I've seen Oban. Like it's, it's at every Costco. It's a fairly really recognizable name. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a known brand. Okay, I've only had that Oban 14 that we've seen for what four or five years straight now. Well, is there another Oban? Make, have you tried another? I have, Oban? I have, but they're not very common. Um, but Oban. What's interesting, when they opened, they started out making that 14-year single malt, which back then, no one was even selling single malt whiskey. They were all blending their whiskeys and just sending them to America as various blended brands. Oban was kind of one of the first distilleries to be like, we're only gonna release age statement single malts, and they still only release like single that. malts. No nice. Oban goes into any blend, even though they're owned by Diageo, there's no open in any Johnny Walker. That's There's cool. no open in any any blend. You know, and it's weird because Oban first stood out to me because of 14 year. You see, 10 years. Yeah, they started 12 14. years, 15 years, 18 years, all the time. This being a 14 year, Log of being a 16 year. Those were like, whoa, that's not normal. Like right. that's not something you don't see. And I feel like that's something that stood out so to me the first time. So they released an 18 year a few years ago. That was a one time release. They just released a 21 year. That that's is probably. a new. It's like 500 bucks. Yeah, no, not cheap uh, because there's not a lot of it. When I was at the distillery, if you go, if you ever go to Oban, you they will they'll turn over a cask like a 12 year old cask. They'll put the whiskey thief in it, which is like a giant syringe, and they'll pour you cask strength Oban 12 That's straight nice. from the barrel. You went there? That's awesome. Yeah. No, this is of all the distilleries I visited, Oban's my favorite, which is funny because I'm not a huge fan of the 14 year. To me, it smells like a garbage can that has like yogurt in it. Like <laughs> I don't know why I can never get past you know, that. That's I, the smell I get every every time I drink Oban 14. I'm like, this smells like yogurt garbage. That's funny. Which is good. It doesn't taste like it. Doesn't taste like that. But that is just always my initial that because think about it, when you smell a whiskey, when you smell a whiskey, 
You're you're activating like memory Yo, banks. It's garbage. Yeah, it's, I don't know what it is because Open oh, Little man. Bay, which they discontinued, it's aging like five casts. It was the blue canister. So good. Like that's like a top ten all time whiskey oh, for me. Man. But the 14 has just never quite made sense to me. Like every time I I've smell had, it, I'm like, I've had Little Bay and 14 with you multiple times. Yeah. You know, I've always liked the 14. It was unique. It was kind of like an Isla like whiskey, the way it's smoky the and peaty, taste, but it's different. And it's different. salty, yeah, because it's aged right by the sea. I, I've I like always the taste. loved it. The nose is just always throwing me off because it, it, I'm just so used to that smell. Because Jackson's always eating yogurt, and he's got these. <laughs> he's, he puts them in the garbage, but and then yogurt like remnants just have oh, so man. much smell. Once they get to room to, it's just such a strong yogurt smell, and just smells like garbage. Don't yogurt. ruin don't this what, nose for me, man. No, no, this doesn't really smell like. Like it smells like oven. It has a hint of actually what I was talking about, but not nearly as much. This is much sweeter. <laughs> little hint of smoke. Little hint of like sea salt. Little hint of breeze. Yeah, you know breeze. I've always loved oven, but I feel like it's really expensive at most places, hmm. and I was accustomed to that I mean, severely year, discounted you know. Costco price, where there it actually was a good deal. Hmm. It's kind of a funky black licorice taste for something that's peated. It's, a it's bit. odd. It's really I call unique. It like peated, there's a hint of peat in Oven. I wouldn't call Oven like a really like some people think it's really smoky. I think it's very light on the peat. It's people there. People that don't drink peated whiskey, you're right. Would if be you don't drink Isla whiskey, you're like, whoa, this is smoky. <laughs> this is this is this is something different. But if you drink like Laphroaig every day or Lagavulin, this isn't even gonna seem. It's, smoky. it's not Laphroaig, it's not Ardbeg, but it definitely has some peat, some funk, some weird flavors going on. It's, it's not a normal whiskey. It's, it's complex. It's no, very it's very unique. complex. A lot of layers, and what's interesting with Oban, both the 14, this, anything you drink from them, each sip is a little different. Like, it's a, it's a whiskey that changes as you drink it, which I've always... Your taste buds, like react and respond and acquaint to it and then you and then you start tasting other things it builds and, and then expands it, as you it, go. it kind of changes on you it's it's considered like a chameleon whiskey like if you were drinking something smoky it's going to taste sweet and fruity if you're drinking something sweet and fruity it's going to taste smoky it's just it's this weird in between area drinking with sweet anything anything sugary juice soda ruins your whiskey palate Oh yeah, I, I meant like sweet whiskey. Brutal. I didn't mean like I, I'm not drinking apple juice while I'm drinking. Well, just for people who don't know, that will ruin your whiskey palate if you're oh, trying yeah. to try some good. Anything whiskey. other than water will ruin. Yeah, just drink water when you're drinking whiskey. Uh -oh. You need Coca-Cola to put whiskey down. You don't like whiskey. Don't buy Oban. Don't buy good scotch. No, give it to us. Yeah. Send we it. Send it to him. It. We'll explain it to you. Hint of smoke. Such a unique flavor and smell. It's just so To me, weird. part of that is, and part of that, that garbage note I was picking up on earlier. <laughs> no, no, no. There's a reason for this. It's because it's, it's one garbage. Of, in a good no, way. <laughs> it is one of the only single malts that's just aged like in a city. Like all of them are in like fields and like But it's by the mountains. ocean still, right? It's a city right by the ocean. But it's still a city. And so I think you get... Like you taste the city car exhaust and you know like <laughs> garbage like there's weird because oh, all geez. whiskey will pick up on characters around especially you know if it's 14 years old you're gonna taste its surroundings like that's true with any whiskey I feel like that's it tastes the ocean oh, yeah no yeah I agree the ocean because it's right there it's right there on the ocean is right there it's right at the bottom of a cliff over the ocean like it's yeah no it's it's a cool spot it's a really cool distillery they do everything so old school it's hilarious like they basically haven't changed anything since 1797 since they opened everything's been the same even the amount of people that work there it's, it's always been like seven or less people making all the whiskey that's such a small step. isn't that crazy i mean when i isn't watch videos crazy? about other distillers there's so many people so many hands on it so much going on you think that um, but i mean even some of the big like glenn moore and g when i was there they were like oh yeah like 20 people were but they here. have huge stills right they have t they have 12 giant stills like like open has two open has two stills two that's stills insane. They're old. No, it's funny. This They're is very the first, old still. There's, there's no age statement, but it does say Oban Bay Reserve. Yeah. They could have put Oban Single Malt. They put no, they Bay have Reserve. to give it a name. They have it's, to give it. I feel like it seems nicer. 
It's for something that's no age statement. It's really smooth. I, I really like it's, this. It's actually. odd and it's funky. It's unique, but it's really smooth. I like this more than the 14. Because it I think I do too. But have I, I want to try them side by that side. That weird garbage note I'm talking about, which sounds really bad, and it's not that I'm not a fan of Oban. I love Oban. I've been to Oban, but straight up think yogurt garbage when you smell Oban 14. That's that's what it smells like. And um, any dairy that's very old. And that's stanch. just been sitting out. You know, I just like, try to block that out of my memory because it taints. I can't. I it can't. That's why I taste the things I taste. Is premium dairy. My memory makes me taste and smell these things. And so. The only time I drink milk, I'll, I'll get vitamin D whole milk. I'll open it. I have a glass of that. Impressive. Day it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not open that day, I don't touch it. All right. Fair enough. Fair it's got to be fresh. I don't eat yogurt, really, but uh, <laughs> people I live with do. And uh, do that's what, what it do. reminds me of. I don't know. That's, it's just one of those. Oban's just always been a weird whiskey to me, but it's a really It is story. weird, but it's really smooth. Yeah. No, I it mean, is. I mean, this is. It's very it's, complex, too. It's a when very you try this one, whiskey. especially for the discounted price, you're getting the Game of Thrones whiskeys. Yeah, like, what does this come in at, price-wise? <laughs> Dude, I got this for like 35 bucks, which is insane. Yeah, I think, that's insane. I think the retail is way I would more... think this is at least like a 60 or 70 when it came out. I Especially because it, look, it looks like it's a different whiskey from the other Game of Thrones stuff. Like, I was looking online. I bought this and like four other Game of Thrones whiskeys at the same time. And I almost felt bad. The owner made a joke about raising the price on me as I was looking it up. <laughs> Because he's like, oh, the price just went up. I was with Jake. And, like, we're, oh. <laughs> and it was kind of a joke, but it's... Caught you slipping. It's really smooth. I, I, I wouldn't buy something that's marked up and overpriced. I buy yeah. things when they're a really good deal. Oh, for the price, this is... I it's would take this over the 14 smooth. all day. It's for the very price. Even smooth. the Costco price, I would take I wish price. I knew how much was in it because it's going to be a sad day hard. when I run out. If I run out... You can out, see it. See how it's moving right there? Yeah. The that? day the day that this runs out and it's very not available, I'm going to be a sad boy. All of them will. All the Game of Thrones stuff was a one-time thing, so... Buy you know what's you funny? Can. This one's black. The other one, the Mortlock is gold. The rest of them are all the same color. That's because the other ones are houses, but this is the Night's Watch, and then the gold one is the, the Three-Eyed Raven, the Six You know, Kingdoms. it's funny, though. I feel like this one and the gold one were uh, more expensive than the rest when I seen them in the store. I think you're right. I think I'm right, too. And yeah. it was, uh, I felt like there was some sort of prestige or importance to the two that were a different color. I think there is. And I'm when, really when impressed I drink with them, the I think smoothness of this, yeah. even though it's odd. It's complete. No, this one's not really odd. Like it's to I me mean, on the nose. This one makes more sense to me than the fourteen does. I don't get all the weirdness that I get in the fourteen for some reason. I really like this. Actually, I would drink this every day. I would drink this every day. I gargle this. Drink yeah. this like water. No, I, I so like open. I got nothing against open. Um, I'm pissed. They discontinued Little Bay, which is my favorite whiskey from them. I tried the Distillers Edition too. While I, was I didn't there. try that. I'm, I'm just kind of mad. Heavily sherry. I'm mad at you now. It's better. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Any other than that, final thoughts? It's good. Go to Oban if you ever go to Scotland. Really cool town and uh, very famous distillery just right in the middle. Like it's really cool to look at. Um, You've reviewed all the Game of Thrones except for one now, right? What's the last one? Well, don't tell them that. We gotta find it. We don't know when this. Oh well. Okay, yeah. So. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Uh, we need the House Tyrell Clinalish uh, Game of Thrones. Klinalish. Send it. So yeah, if anyone wants to send that to us, that'd be fantastic. Um, yeah. Other than that, you know, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Let us know what else we need to review. If you're, you know, you're not going to suggest any Obens we need to review. They make like two whiskeys, so. We've tried them. We've tried everything from Oban. They, if anything, we've tried a bunch of stuff they don't even make now. So, uh, yeah, you're not, not likely to happen in that regards. But hopefully they come out with some new stuff. And Oban, bring back Little Bay. Please bring back Little Bay. That's the best whiskey you ever made. Please, for the love of God, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's like one of my top five favorite all-time whiskeys, oh, and then you can't get it anymore, and that's that bums me out. Well, uh, yeah, get a little more. I Hold need on, more man. so we can do the outro, gotta, the old cheese. We are doing the outro. I gotta pour more. Okay. I 
I'm Sugar Bear. I'm I'm Kurt. We are Whiskey Dixon. Until next time, cheers, slancha. Salute. Keep on drinking. <laughs>